What's going on guys? Steve Blake here and today I'm giving you a pickup video. This pickup video centers around Karma Loop. Um, I kind of don't promote them anymore and I don't know why I'm starting my video by saying that. I really don't promote them anymore but they have a sick sale that I really couldn't pass up. Um, it's 51% off so I put down uh, the link in the description. I don't know how many days it's going to be active for um, so I went and picked up a couple things and there's really no brand restrictions. So you'll see in this video, I picked up Zane Rogue, um, I picked up Billionaire Boys Club, and I picked up 10 Deep, um, three brands, and Herschel Supply, brands that typically don't go on sale. So I put the link down in the description for that. Um, but we'll start with the sneakers because I actually want to show you the stuff um, on and uh, we'll end with the apparel. So uh, this is obviously sneakers that um, Carm Loop does not offer and I actually have to, uh, I gotta take the rubber bands off these because it actually, screws up the toe box um, but this is from 2008 this is a concepts collaboration with Nike SB they did the lobster SB uh, dunk low they did two iterations the third of which uh, well three the third of which uh, didn't release to the public so there's a red lobster a blue lobster um, and then a yellow lobster the yellow lobsters were samples people think there are only 24 pairs there's actually 72 and they made some for the concepts teams and they also made some for Nike SB friends and family members to commemorate opening a skate park so there's more pairs uh, out there than people think but they're in the hands of people that are just not going to ever have the need or inclination to sell them. So that's why you only see a few pairs on the market. Um, the blue pair, I think, is a little bit more wearable uh, than the red. But I was able to pick up a dead stock pair. Um, and I have to remember, if you do have a pair, um, definitely store them with the rubber bands off because this is kind of actually warped the toe box, even though there's nothing else wrong with these sneakers. Um, so these are was super stoked on. Um, I'm trying to get all the concepts collaborations, so I'm almost done with that goal. It's taken like six years, um, but we're getting there. Um, the other thing I want to show you really quickly uh, was the Dixon Runner. This was uh, sent to me by Saucony. It's actually a men's size 12 sample. Uh, which is super dope. There's nothing different between this version and the one that was released online. I talked to my man Brandon over there who runs uh, Saucony Originals. Uh, they pulled them down online. I believe they're going to redistribute them among their accounts, um, but they sold through pretty much all their stock the first couple days of launch. Um, so if I do find more of these, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I will tweet out um, where you can get them. They released in a camo and they released in a wool. Um, some, some really nice details there. And they're super comfortable, by the way, and they fit you to size. Um, and the last thing I wanted to do before I try on the apparel, um, I'm going to Europe soon, visiting London. Uh, and this is a Herschel Supply Co. Uh, duffel bag. I love traveling with carry-on. Um, and this duffel's a little bit bigger than the Supreme one you guys see me pack all the time. Um, I don't know the exact volume, but I'd say it's about double um, to two and a half times the size. So uh, just nice black and the, the kind of leather to it. Herschel's a great name, um, not as expensive as some of the other um, stuff I have, like the Bisman bag or pack or something like that. So you definitely know uh, notice a dip in the quality, um, but Herschel definitely is a good name brand. All right, so we have a nice long shot down uh, behind me of the hallway. Um, this is from 10D. Uh, I believe this is actually 3M lettering on the side. Uh, it's a long sleeve t-shirt and it just fits pretty nice. So it's, uh, there's not much to it. It's not an oversized cut, 10 deep. This is actually my first time buying 10 deep. Um, actually shout out to Bull Trick because I was checking out, um, or Bullet One TRC. Um, I was checking out some of his videos and he did a lot of 10 deep stuff. So it kind of put me onto it. Um, but I definitely don't mind the fit of it. Um, it fits me fine in the shoulders and everything like that, which is something I usually have an issue with. Um, but again, Minimal detailing, I like wearing long sleeve shirts um, and I feel like it's something I'm gonna get a lot aware of. If you guys watch my channel, you know I try to purchase things that I can wear a ton and I can't really go wrong with something that's gonna be a white long sleeve t-shirt. All right, so next up, uh, this is from Billionaire Boys Club. I'm not as happy with this one on. Again, this is the first time I'm trying it on. Um, it has a quilted upper to it, um, which I didn't quite notice, um, which makes it, doesn't look wrong. It doesn't look wrong when it's on, but it feels a little weird because the material is a little heavier. Um, and it's basically a waffle knit going on the way down. Um, I do like it. it. Does fit true to size. I could even probably have gone a size up because I like my stuff a little bit longer. Uh, but on the back, it's got the Billionaire Boys Club branding. So maybe I'd wear this with something that uh, like a white or black oversized, so it gives it another layer, a little draping down. But 
Um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. And again, 51% off. A lot of times at Billionaire Boys Club, I like their stuff, but I'm not really a fan of paying for their brand name because in my opinion, they've kind of diluted their brand. Um, so when you can get it on a discount, it definitely is worth it. So um, overall, I'm happy with it. The one complaint is the quilting, but I can't really uh, complain in terms of how it looks. It just kind of feels a little weird. So if I wanted to wear this with a shirt underneath, I think that feeling would go away. So Billionaire Boys Club, I'll again put these links down in the description for you guys if you're interested. Um, we got one more thing from Zanaro. All right, last but not least, uh, this is the Xanarobe Sure Shot. I love the Sure Shots. My favorite, this is moleskin, and honestly, this is probably my favorite, most comfortable pair of Sure Shots I've ever gotten. Xanarobe is also 51% off. If you're trying to get it, don't sleep. Like, this is probably my favorite I can find right now. I've owned the khaki iterations, this moleskin. I took a gamble on it, because I'm not as familiar um, with moleskin as I am with other materials. Recently, I've been helping a company that's been working with it, um, and they, they put it on some jackets and stuff like that, so I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel on a pant, and I absolutely love it. Um, the cut is perfect, uh, fits true to waist, so I do a 36 in these. Um, if you're in between sizes or don't see your size, because it's an elastic waist, um, like I could get away with a 38 or I could get away with like a 34, 35 because I can either tie it up if it's a little too loose um, or stretch it out a little bit. The other thing I love about this is, um, and as, as you'll see actually, cause I picked up a pair of um, biker denim. I was trying to get Balmain um, and Balmain just doesn't fit over uh, my calves. I can't put it over my calves. And what I like about the sure shot, if you're at, like have an athletic build, um, if you play sports like hockey or uh, you know other leg intensive sports like football where you had to be down a lot and you know in a Defensive position with the poke check something like that and you built up a lot of leg muscle um, Zenero fits around that um, I would say if you're looking for something Athletic fit or you're a taller guy the sure shot is definitely the pant. I don't know if I might, might even squat in there um, Sure shot is definitely the one you want to go with um, I know a lot of guys ask me about that because I'm not as uh, small as some of these other people that do fashion reviews, you know what I mean? I can't fit into um, Japanese stuff, like really tight, slim fit denim, anything like that. The sure shot won't do you wrong. Um, definitely, definitely, if you have the opportunity to pick it up if you're watching this video, um, check it out. Xanarobe goes on sale as well. Other places like Nordstrom, etc. but right now, um, Carmen Loop doesn't have the best sale. Um, so obviously, if you watch this video in the future, and you're looking for some advice, just tweet me, um, I'll try to find it the lowest possible price for you guys, um, cause that's what it's all about. But this is my favorite pickup, um, and this is gonna end the video. I think I'm in the shot. The one thing I hate about this new camera is that it doesn't have the flip thing that my T3i had, but it's a full frame sensor, so the image quality is better. Can't win it all. <laughs> I'm rambling, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me. It takes literally a second, helps the channel grow. Um, it's like retweeting uh, a tweet, you know what I mean? It puts it in other people's feeds, so it's super helpful for uh, for keeping the channel alive and keeping it growing. So, see you signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys find something dope on Karma Loop that I missed um, or another sale. Just tweet it to me, I will give you credit. And I'm actually building a site called Kicks Under Costs and Clothes Under Costs, so I will feature you guys in that as well um, for helping me out with some of the legwork. So, T Blake signing out. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.